In the heart of a seemingly peaceful suburban Maryland town, a chilling tale of abduction and murder unfolded almost a half century ago, when two innocent young lives were tragically stolen. Sheila was a bright and bubbly 12-year-old girl. Tomboyish and outgoing, she loved to play sports and ride her bike. She was a member of the Rainbow Girls. Her 10-year-old sister Catherine was a bright and cheerful child who loved to read and play the piano. She was a member of the Girl Scouts. The girls were inseparable, and their laughter was known to echo through the streets of their Wheaton neighborhood. But one fateful day in March 1975, their light was extinguished when they embarked on a seemingly harmless outing to Wheaton Plaza Mall for Easter decorations and lunch. Their paths crossed with a sinister man named Lloyd Michael Welch Jr., a drifter with a dark past. Welch lured the girls away from the mall's crowds. Tragically, he brought them to his house and raped and killed them. For decades, Sheila's and Catherine's fate remained unsolved and their bodies were never found. But in 2013, a glimmer of hope emerged. A cold case detective, determined to unravel the truth, unearthed a crucial piece of evidence, an interview Welch had given to police in 1975. Comparing Welch's photo to a composite sketch of a man seen following the girls at the mall, the detective noticed an uncanny resemblance. This revelation led to Welch's indictment on two counts of first-degree felony murder. He denied any involvement, but the evidence against him mounted. In 1994, he pleaded guilty to molesting a 10-year-old girl in South Carolina, and he is currently serving a sentence for sexually abusing another 10-year-old girl. The Lion sisters' parents, John and Mary, hearts shattered, were left to grapple with an unimaginable loss. They attended the news conference announcing Welch's indictment, but left before it ended, the pain being too much. The investigation into Sheila's and Catherine's disappearance remains active, with authorities hinting at the possibility of more charges. A conspiracy to conceal the crimes is suspected, but the details remain shrouded in secrecy.